Hey Mustangs, Miss Flora is here in the art room. We are going to practice some watercolor techniques today in your free painting. So we're going to start with a very abstracted um, design and then you're going to basically experiment with the primary colors. I have put a couple different ways to apply uh, your watercolor paint and so mine kind of looks all over the place. You can do it however you want. The goal here, the objective is that you are experimenting and practicing mixing colors. So you're only going to get the primaries, blue, yellow, and red, and then you'll make all the other colors today. First things first, you're going to get a Sharpie and a piece of watercolor paper, and you're just going to start making some very flowing, wavy lines. While you're doing this, I want you to think about a challenge that you face today, this week, this month, whether it's at school or at home, and begin to think about that challenge, how it's been making you feel, and just let go. This is supposed to be a very meditative part of the painting. Looks about right. Now, at every intersection, you're going to kind of smooth it out. And break up your space in a visually interesting way. You definitely want your lines to go off the paper. On some of your loops, you might want to add a thicker section. This is where you're really focusing on that challenge and maybe different ways to solve it. Maybe looking at things through a different lens or a different perspective while you just kind of get in the meditative mode. Do that to all of them. Okay, so now you have your pretty cool little connected design. We have some thin areas with lines, some thicker areas, some interesting spots. So I use these black spaces, the black lines around my space as a barrier for my colors. So if I want to make this just a nice bright yellow, I'm going to stick within that space. If I want it to get lighter, I'm going to add water straight water with no color and it begins to create a wash okay if i wanted to make it a lot lighter i would lift up some of that color maybe i want to put just a smidge of red on the edge to make it a nice orange on the edge okay I don't want to paint here next. I'm going to move to another section in my, on my uh, painting because you don't want, like if I were to put green here and it touches here, then it's going to bleed and you really want to keep the colors fresh. So I'll go here with my green and of course, hopefully at this point, I don't have to tell you, but I might, uh, that yellow and blue make green. So I put a little yellow and a tiny bit of blue and added that in okay and if that's a little bit too yellow green you can always add a little bit more blue and make that new color like this one right here I definitely recommend mixing on your palette now you can see here some fun things are going to happen because I've got a lot of water on my paper when you have a lot of water this brush holds a lot of water so I'm making some gradations there another technique that you can do and I will show you in this space you start with water 
shouldn't have any color in it. Mine does have a little bit of blue. And then you drop your liquid into it. This is called wet on wet, wet water, wet paper, wet paint. This is a watercolor technique that you use that has a lot less control. That's what these sections and areas were created by. So it was this. So if that's kind of the style you're looking for, go that way. Let me show you one more wash. So I'm going to start with just straight red in this section. And I'm not going to pick up any more paint. I'm just going to clean my brush out and add water to it. And pull that paint down. You guys like to call it like an ombre effect. In watercolor, it's called a wash. And you go lighter and lighter and lighter. And when that dries, it'll be a nice light, medium, and dark. Okay? If I want to go from one color to another, say in here, maybe I'll start with red. Remember we talked about analogous colors. They live next door to each other on the color wheel. So if I wanted to go from red to purple to blue to green, I could. Make sure you wash out your brush in between colors. Maybe you made a purple. Maybe you're mixing it right there. It's a nice purple. I've got very nice red violet. And then I would add just a little bit more blue to it. Going from that purple to that blue violet. You can see it's a nice blending. And then I would go from that blue violet straight into that blue. And if you don't like it, it's too dark, you can always add a little water and lift some of that color up. And then here, I'll go from my blue to my green. Like we talked about. Whoops. There we go. It's more of a blue-green. There we go. There we go. This brush is being very weird with my paint. I don't like that real straight line, so I'm just going to gently, gently lift those colors in. And go back with my straight blue. Okay, so have fun, experiment, get creative. And if you really don't like something, get a dry paper towel, press it down, and lift up, and it magically absorbs it. Not completely to white, but enough. Okay? Enjoy.